Our founding myth is that uh, is a very romantic one, a very naive story that uh, in 1948, when the war started, the Arabic population ran away by itself. This is what we are told uh, in, in our schools. Lebanon, no. Soviet Union, yes. United Kingdom, abstain. The United States, yes. The resolution of the Dutch Committee for Palestine was adopted by 33 votes. אני התעסקתי בעיקר עם מה שקרה פה. פנטורה. What happened here wasn't only pushing away the uh, Palestinians from their uh, village. What happened here is that they did not let the Palestinians go away just like this. They first of all killed many, many of them. And there was not any reason to do it. Tantura uh, deals with a, a story of a Palestinian village that was uh, taken over by the Israeli army in 1948, one week exactly after the State of Israel was declared. And uh, this village was, uh, uh, the inhabitants were sent away, were uh, deported out of Israel. And uh, there was a battle initially. And after this battle, that both Israeli soldiers and Palestinian fighters got killed, many of the village's uh, men were executed. So this is the historic story. When I learned about the story of Tantura, and about the cover-up and about the silencing of it, I, it made me curious. And I started studying it and researching it by myself. Did it through contacting uh, Teddy Katz, who was the researcher that initially brought this story to the Israeli public eye. Teddy Katz was then sued and cancelled. Initially, he got a very high grade. It made me, it made me uh, curious. It made me uh, want to know more about this story. And that's how I started this film. So I was working initially on a completely different film and stumbled across this story. But yes, when I met Teddy Katz and I got the tapes from him, I, we started listening to the tapes. And in it, uh, I heard uh, some of the soldiers, the Israeli soldiers that were there, describing acts of, uh, of killing, acts of murder after the battle ended, a massacre you could call it. The filming lasted uh, almost two years and the editing was, as we were working, we were editing. Uh, it's almost three years in the making. Uh, and uh, we filmed uh, um, soldiers that are in their 90s today. And the format is we let them listen to the tapes that Teddy Cutler recorded 23 years before of this story. And their reactions is what creates this uh, interesting uh, uh, film. We also, of course, uh, um, interviewed villagers from the uh, village, Palestinian villagers and historians. It's obvious from, uh, from when you studied that, that it was a pretty uh, organized thing to drive the Arabs out. And without a doubt, this is what happened. 
uh, it was an, uh, you know it was a transfer of a population out of the borders of 1948. I think uh, uh, when our founding father planned the Jewish state, they wanted to be a Jewish state, and they had the context at some point of the Holocaust uh, later on, and this is what brought this uh, thing to reality. Uh, were there commands to massacre? Uh, not official ones, uh, but there were commands to drive the Arabs out. This is clear today. Uh, even if they were given orally. And as when you drive a population of uh, three quarters of a million people out, when you erase 600 villages, some of the, in some of these cases you have violence and in some cases you have massacres. You can't do it without it. Santoro was one of several dozens, probably, of massacres that happened of different sizes. <laughs> I don't think we, we can ever have a dialogue without uh, recognizes the pain of the other side. And this is the main uh, um, idea of the film at the end. We must acknowledge the story of the Palestinians, which is our story, our history as well.